about your experience being on the jury this time around? It's been great. I, I've, this is only the second time that I've been a part of a jury. I was on a jury of a, for a film festival before, and one of the things I love about it is you get to see stories and movies or television shows, product that you might not necessarily see uh, on, a, on a regular basis. And uh, so getting a chance to see some, I saw two German films, a French film, a, a, a Japanese film, and then a British film. That's wonderful because th I, that may not have been on my radar. Um, and, and just getting a chance to, to work with a group of people. I'm working with an American, Bo Derek, and then um, um, Hiroshi, and then Valerie, who's from France. So we just getting these different perspectives. And uh, it was interesting because I had sort of a preconceived notion that they might respond to the film that was from their country, and wasn't necessarily the case. We, we all really responded to what we felt was the best story. And that was, that was fun for me. And also here in, this is what, your sixth time you said? In this is my Monte sixth Car time in Monte Carlo. How else is this different besides being on the jury? Um, it's pretty much the same. I mean, I have to say this year, the weather's the best it's ever been. Uh, it's not as hot, which is great. I mean, it's never really hot, but this has just been wonderful. And actually, we've had a little bit of rain, which I love, the thunder and the lightning. We were actually sitting, having dinner the other night, and this lightning storm came in. It was awesome. And then when that you know, lightning storm went away, then they lit off the fireworks. <laughs> and we're sitting, it was just, it's, this is a magical place. Um, it's, it's a very classy event. And, uh, you know, you have great hosts, um, His Highness Prince Albert and, and Princess um, Charlene. So they're incredible people and nice to know. And I'm looking forward to seeing them again. I saw Princess Charlene the other night. So it's nice to see her again. It's a, just a great event. And what I also love about it is you get a chance to interact with fellow actors that are from other countries that you might not get a chance unless you're working on a project with them, which may not happen. And you get to celebrate their, their, the, the things that they're working on and then the shows that we're a part of in the States. And it's a real nice crossover. Let's talk about um, what's going on with you professionally. Are you? Is everything out on Nashville? Can you talk about that? Yeah, I can talk about yeah, Nashville. So yeah. Tell us, so tell us about that and your storyline now coming to an end. Well, yeah. So in its ori original conception, Callie Curry, when when I met with her in the beginning, the show was her vision of the city of Nashville. She knows she's from Nashville. She knows that city. She knows that music industry, she, and she knows the the players in, the, in politics and in business. So her original vision was to do a show about Nashville as a whole. And her tie was obviously my character, Teddy Conrad, was married to Raina James, which is played by Connie Britton, who's in the music world, and then he's you know ends up in, in the political world. But what's cool about a television show, as opposed to a film, where you really, the film, you have one shot, in television, shows evolve um, and they change they you know so sometimes you, as you're going along on a television series cast sometimes come and will come and go storylines will come and go uh, the music might change the the players behind the scenes sometimes the the entire camera crew, crew will go and you're bringing in a new camera crew um, or a sound department it just changes and I think in this case on Nashville they started to see that they really were the focus of the show was really being drawn towards the music. Most of the cast sings and plays mu plays their own instruments, and I think that's where it started to gra evolve into that that show. After three seasons, I think they started to say, "We're going to focus on the music," and we needed to find a way to sort of phase out the political storyline. And I was the last holdout in that storyline because you had Powers Booth who left in the second season. Um, uh, Tandy, the character of Tandy, was left, and then Bob Wisdom was gone, and so um, I was really the only one. And tied to the story because of the, the relationship I had the daughters with, you know, Teddy with Randy James. But I think it was just a natural that it would go that way. How is it for you as an actor? Are you used to it after all this time? When when the job ends, is it hard? Um, oh yeah, it's always disappointing because you this becomes your family away from home. You know, I live I live away from my family for three years working in Nashville. Um, you, you, you develop a great bond with this cast. I directed on the show, so I had that relationship as well. And 
um, when it suddenly comes to an end this way, that's yeah, hard because, you know, and then plus it's your job. You, you, you don't, no one likes to be unemployed, but uh, it's okay. I mean, that's part of the actor's life. I was just talking to someone about that last night that that's part of the excitement of it is we never know what's coming next often. And that, that's part of what we chose to do. So in your case, though, do you, are you going to continue with Suits? Yeah, I'll, I, I'm a reoccurring character on that show, so I'll probably continue to do that. I'll probably go back to Nashville um, and tie up that storyline, perhaps direct. I've, I've, in, I've asked them to direct. They asked me to come back and direct. We're just trying to find you know, a time when I can go do that, which would be fun. And then uh, I'll take a little vacation with my family and then go back and start looking for the next, next thing.